today is we two. What's today? Monday, sorry. And I had took off a of word today because I didn't feel good. So I stopped and got the keys. Got us some break keys. So we want to go a little more back. Oh, okay. 
about her trying to say you can't they give you places to live. You step into one of them in Cedar Hill. If that don't be happening, Cedar Hill can't even see the hill. So Who is this? I just feel like this is a good program for mothers. They can't come to get a house. Like I'm tired of rent. I know I'm tired of paying rent. I feel like a thousand and thirty something dollars. Really? This apartment. I will never own this apartment. So, I'm trying to show my girls, you know, I want something. Well, you know, I own my car and stuff like this. I have to be a good investment for me. I'm still happy. And then when you have a chance, you can go at your own pace. But you want to do something. If it takes you five years, ten years, twenty years, it's up to you how long it takes. Excuse me, y'all. I ain't had our baby. So, if anybody's interested, you go to www.habitat.org. I don't know if they have it everywhere. But it's a good program, though. You learn a lot of stuff, too. Um, you turn up our door. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend this program. Next time I'm not gonna buy you that. 
Mommy, your bed's like that. Mommy, your bed's like that. I'm telling me. I'm just going to set this down. I can't assume it. She's going to sit in there. Who has time to? Oh. Oh. Oh.
know, um, Blaine just mentioned earlier, this has been a very interesting market that we're in. So last year was our first year of hosting this home buyer success plan, and we actually did it around this time when COVID first hit. So it changed a lot of how we do business. It's changed a lot of how people are now shopping for homes, their perspective on the home search process in general. And it's also, um, it also has done another thing, which is restricted or tightened up the inventory that's currently available in today's market. Now, I was just talking to Blaine yesterday about the housing market, and it was so interesting how last year when we did this, uh, this seminar or this webinar is that it was uh, probably uh, about close to 100 homes, but we're like at half of that inventory mark now. So it's really interesting to see the, the difference that a year can make. And a lot of that is because um, we have what is the eviction moratoriums, which they recently just extended to June. We also have forbearance. So a lot of homeowners right now have taken advantage of the opportunity to use forbearance, meaning that um, they've worked with their lender to allow them an extension or the ability to not pay their loan. So what people are doing, if they're not having to pay their loan right now and they're just um, in their home, why move? So that's another reason why we're seeing such a tight in inventory. Another um, reason as well is because builders don't have the manpower or the, the tools that they need to keep up with the demand and the price of lumber, which has been a huge topic of discussion on the news, which I'm not sure if you all have been aware of, but the material cost to build new construction homes has also skyrocketed as well. So because we're seeing um, eviction being extended because we're seeing forbearance being extended and because there is a uh, shortage of inventory with new build construction that's where we run into this huge supply demand dilemma okay which really changes the whole game in our industry and i know a lot of can attest uh, working with buyers full time on a consistent basis that it's it's been a tough fight i feel like i'm fighting every day from my clients and, uh, and, and being creative in this market so we want to talk to you guys and and we want to give you uh we want to set you up for success and how we set you up for success is that we give you information and we tell you from our perspective um how this industry is how the process is so that when you take that step you decide okay i'm going to go on the open market you have an expectation and it's a realistic expectation on what to expect going in. So we want to continue first to talk about preparing for the financing part.
in this cup. Um, if you are approved for, and now this is just my, a lot of chime in if you feel differently. If you are approved for like a $220,000 loan, you might want to look at houses in this market for like 205, 210, maybe 215 because we are having to offer above asking price in these, in a lot of cases. Not in every case, but a lot of the buyers that I'm working with, we are offering 10 to five to 10 to 15 thousand dollars over asking price. So if you're going to purchase a home and it's at your 220 budget and you have no wiggle room to offer a little bit more or have some sort of flexibility in negotiation, you may develop some some frustration because when you're competing, which you will be competing on the open market for every house you like. Believe me, there's about seven or eight other buyers that love that same home. So you are literally competing against seven or eight other people. So we all also, I know it's crazy. You're like, 220, 220 is a lot. 220 is a good price. If they're asking for 20, 220, I want to offer 220. Yes. In theory, that's correct. But in this market, I'm just saying, it, it's definitely benefits you to have a little cushion. So that's why I'm saying if you're looking for a house 215, 210, you may it may benefit you to have that that extra just in case you have to offer over. So I just wanted to add that. You're absolutely right. So the markets change, right? Depending on how the there's market shifts and they, they do change. So start trying homes in your price range and like Hannah said there's deep room there for negotiations and there's importance of having someone with you along the way to guide you to your, your hand and trust you along the process. It's definitely not to discourage you or anything like that but we definitely want to be able to you know your home, home counselors and your agents want to be able to walk alongside and give you the best advice for the current market because uh, I'll be honest with you Two years ago, last year, it was, it was not like the market is right now. You may have been able to negotiate, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. been able to negotiate certain things. So that's where the, the experts come in to advise these things that you're able to negotiate. So the market of the world, that's, that's what we're there, so that's what we're there. So start trying to get your price range. Uh, ask those questions. Take notes. Um,
this first. Oh, I took two years. This is my first. I want to make sure.